In this example, I'm going to do an individual integral problem, and it's going to be a basic u substitution. But the reason I'm doing this is because some people um, look at something like this and they have a hard time deciding what their u is going to be. So the suggestion here is to take a look at something like this, which is common notation for um, any type of trig function that's being squared, and you'll see it a lot in calculus. But if you take this and rewrite it first before you start and rewrite it so that you can actually see what's being squared kind of nice so sine of 3x and then this entire quantity is being squared you take the time to rewrite that so you can clearly see you've got an outside function of something being squared and an inside function of sine of 3x all right, and then that's going to help you to pick your U, all right, because we want to pick something that's kind of on the inside. And if I let my U be sine of 3x, then when I take the derivative, I'm going to get a 3 cosine 3x, which then is going to allow that to cross out. Okay, so my suggestion here would be if you see things written like this, just rewrite it so that you can see what's actually being squared, where the inside is, where the outside is. Okay, and then I'm going to let my u equal that inside function, so sine of 3x. Then I'm going to take the derivative of both sides, so du is going to equal, don't forget the chain rule on that derivative there, so it'll be 3 cosine of 3x dx. And then I can divide both sides by that 3 cosine 3x, so I would have a du over 3 cosine 3x is equal to my dx. Okay, all right, now coming up here and doing some substituting here. Um, sine of 3x is my u right there, so I can write this as the integral of u squared. This has to stay, so cosine of 3x. I'm going to replace dx with what it equals, so times a du over a 3 cosine 3x. Okay, now that's going to let that cosine of 3x cross out, and it's going to let me pull out a one-third out of that integral. So pulling out that one-third integral, u squared du. Now I'm actually down to a place where I can integrate this. So one-third, integrating by adding one. So add one, I get a three, so that's going to make that a one-third u to the third. And then we can go ahead and throw in that plus c so we don't forget it later. Simplifying here a little bit, one-third times one-third is going to give me a one-ninth u to the third, all right, plus c. Now it's about time I replace that u with what it equals, all right, so then I'm going to have a one-ninth sine of 3x cubed plus c. Now technically there's absolutely nothing wrong with that answer right there, but if you want to put it back in that same notation, and which is pretty common in a calculus class, then you'd have like a 1 9th sine to the third power of 3x there plus c. Alright, so pretty much uh, just one straightforward integral problem, but and just using the basic u substitution, all right, but just kind of taking note of that type of notation and realizing that if you rewrite it like this, showing that 2 being squared out there, it sometimes lets you see that inside function a little bit easier and allows you to find what you're supposed to let your u be. Definitely, thanks for watching, and don't forget to share with your friends. Thanks.